Guys, this is a very exciting bout with Christian Bohorquez. Very tough customer out of San Diego, California. Undefeated fighter, 7-0 with only one knockout. But this man can box. He uses the ring effectively. This should be a very exciting fight because he is facing by far his toughest opponent to date. And from Monterey Park, California, Walter Schoolboy Sarnio. Here comes the schoolboy, Walter Sarnoy. And they call him the schoolboy because he just earned his master's degree at the uh, one of the top Christian schools in the nation, Azusa Pacific University. He earned his master's in business administration. Very intelligent fighter. Now fighting under the tutelage of Mr. Abel Sanchez out of Big Bear, California. And attending the fight for moral support is none other than WBA middleweight champion, Mr. Gennady Golovkin, who's going to be fighting on HBO's Boxing After Dark on September 1st, his first fight in America. And he is ringside in support of his good friend, Mr. Walter Sonoy, fighting out of Monterey Park, California. Walter is coming off of a tough loss in which he was almost out on his feet in the fifth round. He lost a split or majority decision in his last bout several months ago. The following contest is scheduled for six rounds in the super bantamweight division. Fighting out of the red corner, wearing the blue trunks with gold and silver trim, weighing in at 122 pounds from Tijuana, Baja, California. Ladies and gentlemen, Christian Bohorquez. And fighting out of the blue corner with a record of 10 wins, five by knockout, weighing at 122 pounds from Monterey pa Park, California, Walter Schoolboy Sarnoy. As I was stating before the official fighter introductions, Walter Sonoy, he wants this fight. He wants a big victory badly. He is coming off of a very tough loss of a majority decision loss in which he was controlling the majority of the fight and then just got caught in the fifth. So he is now fighting under the tutelage of Mr. Abel Sanchez. And Abel promised before the fight that we'll see a much more active Walter Sarnoy. Here we go, guys. Round one begins in a scheduled eight-round contest. Walter Sarnoy. Again, both men are fighting in one of the most talented and rich divisions in all of boxing, the super bantamweight division. It looks like they call a halt to the bout because Mr. Bojorquez lost his mouthpiece. Time in. Now, I'm a little surprised that Bojorquez is actually looking to counter him with something big, even though he doesn't have, uh, doesn't look to have the most power of the two fighters. Beautiful counter right hand just grazes the left eye of Bojorquez. Walter Sonoy jumping in with a great jab to the body, looking to land the overhand right over top the left hand of Christian Bojorquez. Both men fighting in short, compact explosions. So we'll see who lands the first 
impactful explosion of the fight. Sort of a feeling out round in round one. Both men are very fast with tight, compact shots. Typical of the very talented super bantamweight division. 122 pounds, probably the deepest division in boxing. It features Nonito Donaire, Guillermo Rigondeau, Christian Mijares, Rico Ramos, Jorge Arce, Nishioka. Just a packed division, talent up and down the entire division. Both men looking to make their mark in probably the deepest division in all of boxing. And so far, it looks like a feeling out round in which both fighters have had some mild success. And this looks like it's been a contest of jabs and small explosions within the ring. Both men clinch. Now the referee tiles them to break, wants them to... Round one ends, and it was a feeling out round for both men in which neither fighter really dictated the pace of the action. Round two begins. Again, Walter Sonoy is looking to rebound from his toughest loss to date. Look for the pace to really pick up, guys, in this second round. Now that both men have felt each other out, look for Sarnoy to really start to letting his hands go. And it looks like Christian Borges is looking to counter him with the left hook as he's coming in. What he has to do to get in effectively is, he, is Sarnoy has to use feints, has to use the touch jab mixed in with the hard jab, and use it in sporadic intervals so Borges Bojorquez doesn't time him as he's coming in. Good combination to the body and the head by Bojorquez. Both fighters, very proficient, very fast, very explosive. This is a very competitive bout at a really high level of boxing. Beautiful straight right hand by Bojorquez lands. And he lunges in with the right hand to the body, Sarnoy. Scores with the right hand of the body, but doesn't really follow it up with anything. He just clinches him. Beautiful combination by Christian Bojorquez. And he looks like he's trying to time with the hard left hook as he's coming in. Beautiful right hand by Sarnoy, but gets followed up and countered with a hard left hook. Beautiful right hand to the body by Sarnoy. Sarnoy letting Bajorquez get off first and dictate the pace of the fight. Sarnoy needs to let his hands go. He needs to lead maybe with the overhand right rather than doing a jab followed up with a right hand. He needs to start letting his hands go a little bit more. Don't just throw one or two punches at a time. Sarnoy needs to throw in combination. Once he's found himself on the inside, he needs to let himself go. Christian Bojorquez is doing brilliant work, uh, the better work on the inside. He has countered him effectively. Sarnoy is the stronger fighter, though. He has to let his hands go, and he cannot lunge in like that or also get countered all night long. Sarnoy cannot land or lunge in like that. He has to use feints and come around with the overhand right. And Sarnoy gets pushed down to one knee. And the referee is counting it as a knockdown. It looked to be a slip. And now Sarnoy is looking at a 10-8 round. The final 10 seconds of the round in a, in a round that was very close. But then it turned into a 10-8 round because Sarnoy went to one knee in what he thought was a slip. Referee in charge called it a knockdown. So now he's looking at a possibly decisive 10-8 round in the second.
up now. Keep your hands up, get them in the sky for the homies that ain't making them. My folks locked down. I never went nowhere. What they say in loot is back. Blame it on that conjure. The hood call it loot a yak. So Al Walter Sonoy now is looking at a 10 8 round in the second. This could be a decisive factor in scoring this fight. Walter Sonoy looking to now get that point back in the third round of a six round scheduled bout. Sarnor already looks like he's pressing the action using quicker upper body movement. He looks much more aggressive than he did in the first two rounds. Looks like he really got upset. Beautiful right hand lands by Sarnoy. And Bajorquez intelligently ties his man up. It looked like he was bothered with that right hand cross. Beautiful right hand floors Bajorquez. Brilliant right hand. Puts him on his shorts. And now he's gotten that eight that point back. He is hurt. He's blinking his eyes. He's not on clean legs. Sarnoy is going in for the kill. And Bajorquez is tying him up. He needs to let his hands go. He is on shaky legs still, and he lands another hard right hand. Sarnoy is looking for the knockout. Will he get it? Will he get the knockout? Beautiful right hand by Sarnoy, and he is all over him like a cheap suit. Sar Bajorquez is trying to stay alive here, guys. He is perfect so far in his pro campaign and eats another hard right hand. S Sarnoy needs to be careful and not punch himself out. He needs to use an effective economy of shots. He needs to work to the body and set up that big right hand once again. Sar Bajorquez seems to have his legs underneath him now. Sarnoy is trying to go with that lead right hand once again. And he needs to be careful not to lunge in from too far back. Big round so far for Walter Sarnoy. The schoolboy ringing the bell in this round. And Sarnoy now taking a little breather. He needs to be careful not to punch himself out, and I think he's doing that. He seems to be fighting at a more reasonable pace, using a better economy of punches in this round. Now he's using the ring. He's trying to bait Christian Bojorque into leaning in with something, and he's trying to catch him on the counter. Walter Sonoy ties him up, and he's looking to counter him with something big. Ten seconds left in the round in a huge round for Walter Sarnoy. Beautiful right hand to the body by Sarnoy, and it is a big, big round for Walter Sarnoy, who evens the scorecards with a huge 10-8 round. And that was not a slip, guys. That was a flush, straight right hand that landed right on the button. Put Bojorque on his shorts. Can Walter Sonoy pick up where he left off? Bojorquez seems to have his legs underneath him now. So round four begins. Abel Sanchez between rounds told Walter Sarnoy to keep pressing the action, keep being the relentless aggressor, and not let Christian Bojorquez get off first. That's where he enjoyed the most success in the first and the second round. Walter Sonoy needs to lead with that overhand right, just like he did in the third round. Beautiful left hook was partially blocked, though. Walter Sonoy looks to try and land something big. But he needs to follow up with something. He needs to go to the straight right hand that worked for him so well in the third. But follow it up this time with a big left hook. And he is trying to time him as he's coming in with that overhand right. And he barely misses as both men clinch. Beautiful combination by Bojorquez, but... 
partially blocked. Beautiful right hook to the body by Sarnoy. And we felt that shot in the back row. Bajorquez is claiming that it was a low blow. The referee calls time. Bajorquez now officially has five minutes to recover. My guess is that he's going to take all five minutes because he was just hurt badly the round before. Is this going to be a deciding factor in the fight, guys? In the first round, it looked like a feeling out round. Then in round number two, Walter Sarnoy slipped to the canvas and the referee in charge called it a knockdown. In round number three, Walter Sarnoy came back with a vengeance and floored his man with an overhand right that was clean. Now we're in the fourth. Oh my goodness, and the referee is deducting a point for a low blow without any kind of warning whatsoever without any kind of warning the referee in charge deducts a point and we're looking at another two point round possibly unless Walter Sarnoy really turns it up and goes after him can Walter Sarnoy win this round to make it a 9-9 round because he's already looking at a one point deduction So far now, a very tough round to score now. Obviously, you're going to have to score it. It's a 10-point must system here in uh, California. And you're going to have to score it now with Sarnoy, starting with a point deduction, only having nine points to work with. Walter Sarnoy's beautiful hard right hand by Sarnoy. Pushes Bororquez. Bohorka is back. Can he actually land something else in the final seconds of the round? Beautiful right hand barely misses. Round number four ends. So round five begins, and this is a very crucial round for both men. The fight hangs in the balance with only two rounds to go. Sarnoy pops him with a straight left, and Bohorka knocks him off balance. Walter Sonoy needs to be careful not to lunge in or else he could get countered in Florida on just an off-balance knockdown. And Bajorca swings and misses wildly. Beautiful. Almost a beautiful right hand scoring big for Sarnoy. He has to be careful not to lunge in from way far out. Beautiful right hand to the body scores effectively for Sarnoy. Again, the ref... Warning now, Sarnoy once again for a low blow that I thought landed to the landed to the belt line. Oh, and a hard right hand staggers Borges. He scored a knockdown. Walter Sarnoy catches him once again, and Borges is hurt. He is bleeding to the nose, and he is blinking his eyes. Sarnoy jumps all over him, and he goes down. He is calling it a push. Ref needs to stop being so officious. He is acting like Joe Cortez here. And Sarnoy is once again all over him. Beautiful left hook lands. Sarnoy is looking to put his man down. Now he gets caught with a straight right hand. Ebb and flow in this beautiful fight in the packed super bantamweight division. Beautiful right hook, left hook, right hand lands. Both men having success in this round. Beautiful shot to the body. Crucial and decisive round number five. Walter Sonoy had control of this bout 
and was met with a hard right hand as he was coming in trying to finish the job. Walter Sonoy needs to stay right in his chest. He is letting him off the hook here. But again, he was met with a hard right hand and maybe he has cobwebs right now. Brilliant and exciting action here at the Patanga Resort and Casino, round number five. And Bajorquez is bleeding through the nose. Both men tie each other up. Who is gonna pull out? Final 10 seconds of the round. Walter Sarnoy already scoring a knockdown. But Bajorquez getting his legs underneath him and hurting Walter Sarnoy in the middle of the brilliant fifth round. Brilliant action here in the super bantamweight division. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the sixth and final round. Let's give a round of applause. Who is going to win this sixth decisive final round of this brilliant super bantamweight fight? Walter Sonoy and Christian Bo Bojorquez really giving the fans here at the Pachanga something to cheer about. Both men look to have immense respect for each other and start fighting at a somewhat tentative pace. Looks a lot like the first and second rounds here. Sarnoy lunges in with a hard left hook. Both men exchanging jabs. Both men absolutely need this round. Who is going to win this crucial sixth and final round? Oh, Sarnoy sl slipped on the ring decal. Sarnoy. Beautiful right hand lands for Sonoy, but Bohorquez ties him up immediately. Very good, intelligent veteran move. Referee breaks him up. Sarnoy needs to be aggressive if he wants to win this fight. He cannot wait and let Bohorquez get off first. The fight hangs in the balance. No shots land flushed by Bohorquez in the one two. Both men seem to be showing each other a lot of respect because this is not as nearly as active as their rate in the last three rounds. He slips to the canvas and he calls it a knockdown. He calls it a knockdown even though he slips on the decal. This could be a huge detriment in the fight. Walter Sonoy now needs to go out and even up this round. He obviously slipped on the decal in the center of the ring with the third man in the ring calling it a knockdown. This is now a two point round for Bohorquez unless Sarnoy can get that point back. He has to be more aggressive if he wants. And he meets him with a hard right hand. And Bohorquez is hurt. He ties him up. Sarnoy needs to jump right on top of him if he wants to win this fight. Beautiful action on the ropes. And Bajorquez firing back with a hard left hook. Both men exhausted. Sarnoy needs to jump on him. And he's trying to land the hard right hook. Both men desperately need this. Sarnoy. Trying to land another big right hook. The time is ticking. Final 10 seconds. Is Sarnoy going to be able to pull this out? And Bohorquez throwing a flurry. Trying to keep his man off of him. Then he ties him up. The round ends. Did Sarnoy do enough to win?
He is looking at several point deductions in this short six round fight. Did Sarnoy do enough to win? It's gonna be interesting to see how the judges at ringside scored this fight from an overly officious third man in the ring who was not letting both fighters fight their fight. We had a low blow point deduction. We had two knockdowns that were actually slips, but the third man in the ring called them knockdowns. That could be the detriment for Walter Sarnoy in this fight. It's going to be interesting to see how the judges at ringside scored this one, guys. Very interesting fight, but an exciting six-round fight in one of the deepest divisions in all of boxing, the packed super bantamweight division at 122. Both men deserve a lot of credit for really leaving it in the ring. Now we go to the ring announcer, Mark Kriske, for the official Ladies announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, after a sensational fight presented by Pachanga Resort and Casino, we go to the judges' scorecards. Andy Hernandez scores the fight. 55-54. Max DeLuca scores the fight, 55-54. And Judge Sergio Ciaz scores the fight, 55-44. Winner by majority decision and still undefeated. Christian Viola. Wow. Look at a majority decision loss. For Walter Sanoy, and Christian Bajorquez maintains his perfect record. But that was the difference in the fight. That final slip, it should not have been called a knockdown, and it was, and that was the determining factor in the fight. You could also point your finger to the point deduction. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am here with the winner of this match, Cristian Bajorquez. So, Cristian, this is by far the most controversial decision of the night. Why do you feel that you won this fight? Esta pelea fue la más controversial de la noche. ¿Por qué tú sentiste que ganaste? Eh, cuando cuando me pegó el golpe bajo, fueron varios que me pegó. Entonces, estuvo bien el, el, la deducción de puntos. Yo pienso que eso fue lo que marcó más que nada por las dos caídas de cada uno. Porque la pareja, la pelea sí estuvo muy pareja, nomás que pues fueron varios golpes abajo los que me pegó, yo no le pegué ni uno y pues eso fue la 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 diferencia. He felt that the difference in the fight was the low blows. He definitely felt that it was a low blows and those point deductions uh, definitely had an impact on the fight. It was a very even fight and ultimately that could have been the deciding factor. So, um, you keep your unde uh, undefeated streak going. Um, What's next for you in the future? ¿Qué, qué es lo que más, lo que siguiente vas a hacer? Pues a seguirle entrenando ahorita, a tomarme una pequeña, un pequeño descanso y a seguirle y pues si se le hizo controversial, aquí estamos para la revancha cuando quiera. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you heard that here. He is definitely open for a rematch, and I think we should have one because this was an excellent fight. Finally, any thank yous to your friends, family. Sí. Muchas gracias a todos, todo el apoyo, toda la gente, mi familia de vista que vino a apoyarme. Muchas gracias a todos. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Cristian Bojorquez.